So your next assignment is a sculpture assignment and you are creating a clay sculpture um, in the round. So in the round means that the entire sculpture has attention to detail, um, front, back, sides, bottom, top. So this is a sculpture in the round created out of clay. Um, you can see that the artist has focused on textures for uh, the coyote, including some facial expression, fur, um, the boots, the funny boots that he's wearing, um, hair, etc. So those are things you should be considering. Um, behind that, I have a little sculpture of a dog with a fish. This is also a clay sculpture in the round. Um, so it's freestanding also, just like the coyote was, meaning that it stands alone. It doesn't need um, to be mounted or supported in any way. So um, this little sculpture is less detailed, but you can see that the artist has given some attention to the fish and to the face of the dog and then um, used colorant to um, change the feet and things. The next sculpture is a little snail. This is also a freestanding sculpture and a sculpture in the round. Um, so the artist here, this is the same artist for these sculptures. Um, the artist has attention to the face, facial features, right, and to the shell, and some of those details there. It is freestanding, right? These are some little sculptures that I created. Um, these are meant to be ornaments. Uh, so these are also, for, um, these are not necessarily freestanding, meaning they don't stand on their own um, because they are meant to be ornaments, but they are sculptures in the round, meaning that I've given attention to all sides. So you can see the detail on there, the textures that are included, right? Um, and so when you're making your sculptures for this assignment, you want to be thinking about, is it freestanding? Uh, meaning, does it stand on its own? Does it have the textures and the details that make it um, help us identify what that object should be? So this little guy is meant to stand on the edge of a shelf uh, like that. And then the sculpture that I created is the little turtle sculpture that you'll see some videos of. Um, this is a sculpture in the round and it's freestanding. So it stands on its own, right? Um, it is in the round because I've given attention to all sides of the sculpture here. And then of course, um, I used additive and subtractive techniques. So what does that mean? Additive techniques meaning means that I am joining multiple pieces together, right? Subtractive techniques means that I am removing portions of clay as I go. So in the videos, when you saw me um, attaching pieces together, that's additive. And then when you saw me trimming the legs or cleaning out the interior of the shell, those would be subtractive techniques. You should be using both techniques in your clay. Uh, sculpture and you should be making something that's in the round and freestanding.